honestly guys i'm so happy to be recording this video for you all because it's been a long time coming and um firstly before i get into this video um i literally just want to just give god thanks um for this beautiful testimony um for what he has blessed me with and i just want to thank god for stability um for strength um for favor and for for keeping his word that's what i thank god for for keeping his word because um he used to always he used he's used so many people to speak to me and he's spoken to me and there's so many times where i questioned him and that was you know me probably doubting him as well but um he still kept his word and he delivered and i'm truly truly grateful for what he's done for me and Avea and for being able to share this with everyone as well so yeah let's get into the video yeah so that same week i received a letter um through my post and it was basically offer of a new home and i literally was just like I remember I was lying on my bed and Nevaeh kept nagging me to open up this letter. I don't know, it was just, it was proper strange. Like, I just had, I remember getting the letter and I put it to the side. And Nevaeh was just like, Mama, you're not going to open the letter. And I was just like, I took it from her and then got distracted and then I put it down. And then she came back and she was just like, Mom, you haven't opened the letter yet. And I was just like, Nevaeh, I'll open a letter, literally I was just like, I'll open a letter when I'm ready to open a letter. And she was just like, alright. Then I remember she was going to her bed and she was just like, Mum, you still haven't opened the letter. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I literally grabbed it and I'm just there like. And then I was like, what? And she was just like, what happened, Mum, what happened, what happened? And I was like, no, 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 no stop like what and then i read it and all i saw was just offer for new home and the address i was just like no 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 no. so because i i don't know for me this is my permanent like this is my last stop i can't refuse this this is where we're going to be living so i'm looking at the address and i'm like okay i know that area but i literally was just like I pray to God it's not a tower block there's one thing I just didn't want to be in is a tower block so I literally was just like Nevaeh we're going like we're leaving this house it was late didn't care but walking to this place because it was walking distance from my old house so we got up and then literally as we're walking we're praying we're praying we're praying we're praying we're praying we're just praying that you know when we get there it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be something that you know we're gonna love we're gonna love the area and etc so we got there and it's like the closer i'm getting the more i'm like Phew. you know i just didn't feel good with what i was seeing and then we got to the block and then the veil just kept it's like Nevaeh had done this thing where she kept she kept on coming closer to me holding my hand and i was just like Nevaeh, what's wrong like it's fine and she was just like no nothing but that just already showed me she doesn't feel safe and the area didn't look the best anyway so I can understand where she was coming from anyways we went upstairs and we're looking around in the block and everything and I literally was just like there's no way I waited this long to be put here honestly and that's not it didn't it didn't come from a place where I was ungrateful but I literally was just like I've waited 10 years for this and there's no way that God made me wait 10 years to place me in this like there was no way I didn't even see inside but I didn't need to see inside everything from the outside to the area nothing made sense 
and Nevaeh wasn't happy. I was just like, Nevaeh, yeah, okay. She was just like, I don't like it. Literally, she was like, I don't like it. And I was just like, okay, cool. And as I was walking, I said, Nevaeh, we're just going to have to make this our home. It's going to be better than where we're coming from. Um, we're just going to make it into something beautiful. Like, it, we're not going to be here forever. Eventually, mummy will have her own place where she will buy and make it into something that we like you know into something that we want so she said okay so literally we just left and i don't know i just wasn't i wasn't happy but i was just trying to put this mask on this for nevea just to make her feel a bit more not, not, i don't know like happy i guess but I, it wasn't working anyways um my viewing was on was within that that same week and went to the viewing and this was only this was god went to the viewing and the guy came and i literally said to him the first thing i said to him is i don't want to live here and he was just like well that's something that you have to discuss with your housing officer but you do know that if you refuse this property you will be made intentionally homeless and i was just like yeah but i just I said, look at the area, like, you can literally see, is this, is this something that you would want yourself and your child to live in? And he was just like, he doesn't pick the, um, the properties, and that's something that he has to discuss. I have to discuss with my housing officer. I said, okay, cool. Um, anyways, you've got the key now to open the door. And he's pushed the key in. Nothing ain't happening. <laughs> he's turned... Nothing ain't happening. He's turned again. Nothing ain't happening. He's pushed. He's looked at the key. Pushed it back in. And me I say, yes, God. Mm-hmm. Yes, God. looking at me. But I was literally like, at the side, I was just like, yes, like, yes, 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 yes. So um, I was just like, oh, are you having any problems, sir? And he was just like, oh, it doesn't seem like the, the key is working. So I said, oh, that's good. Like, I literally, what? The key doesn't need to work at this point because there's no way that this is my property. Like, there's no way. So anyways, I'm just there sitting, um, standing at the side. And then he said he's going to have to call his manager. So he called the manager, number one person, yeah? Called the manager. Um, hi, blah, 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 you know, we're at this property and we're trying to get an entrance and the door seems like it's not opening. So she said, oh, he's going to have to call the surveyor or I think it was a surveyor or something like that. So that was the second person you called. So he's called that per the department and they said that um, there's nothing that they can do that he will have to call. The contractor like the carpenter or something someone that can open a door so that was the first person third person you call now so you call that person and every time he hanged up the phone they've obviously told him to call someone else and every time he called that person he's been sent to call back another person so he's called back the, the third person now and a carpenter or whatever his name is was just like um he's not around at this time um that i'll have to reschedule he will have to reschedule another meeting for me to come and view the property so i'm like this is this is this is definitely a sign that i should not be living here so he said he will have to contact me tomorrow to reschedule because they will need to unbar the door or something so i said okay cool the next day came it was around lunchtime again my phone rang so i've answered it um he was just like, hi Chantal, um, so basically the property, um, we will have to withdraw the property from you. So I was just like, what? <laughs> what? So he was just like, yeah, like, we have to withdraw this with me, is there, are you, can, is it because of me? Is it because I said that I didn't want the property? He said, no, nothing to do with you. Um, the per he was just like, he can't get into it with me, but once something else comes up then obviously he will let me know so i said are you sure that it's nothing to do with me like it's not because i, I didn't want it or i should he was just like no it's definitely not nothing to do with you um they have to withdraw the property so i said okay that's fine and i literally was just like i mean come on like who's not going to be happy like so 
um, at this point, again, it was just like a waiting game and praying, just praying that, you know, the next house or property or whatever um, is something that I would love. Um, and then literally like a week, literally about a week later, Focusing. Woo! My heart is beating. My heart is beating. Hey. <sighs> Got something to tell you. What? <sighs> Wait, read that. Important news of a new home. Do you know what that means? What? That we've got a new house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what. Now, nah, flipping it, come on. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Honestly, guys, yeah. This is crazy, now. Nah. But it's happy tears, isn't it, mummy? Come. No, I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm just excited. No, I'm happy, guys. Like, I swear to you, I don't usually cry in front of Nevaeh, but honestly. Hold on. Mummy's having a little happy breakdown. No worry, Mummy. You're safe. Okay. No, I think I'm fine now. But honestly, guys, I don't think you understand that. This journey has been long. Like it's been long. Like so long so tiring like it hasn't been easy but <sighs> like i swear to you like i thank god like so much because i moved out my mum's house when i was 16 16 yeah i am 26 years of age right now and it took me that long to reach to this point to actually say that i have you know, I've I've got my place now. <sighs> I have moved so many times, like so many times, like it's unreal. The amount of addresses that I've had, it's crazy. Like it's it's proper crazy. But it's happy. I'm so ha like I know I'm crying and stuff, but I'm sweaty. I'm so happy because. It's been a flipping journey, like, it's been a journey, it just felt like it was just not gonna, it's, like, a, I don't even know, but it's like, now I'm just thinking, like, Nefe's gonna have her own room, like, she's gonna have her own space, like, you know, she's got, I can spread out, <laughs> she I'm can spread great. out, <laughs> and, like, you know, like, we can just, like, it's like a new chapter for us, because, you know now we have stability like do you know what I'm talking about we haven't had that we've literally just been moving 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 around like like we're friggin gypsies like it's just it's been crazy like a lot of people if you know me if you know this like my story and stuff you know that I've been a traveler like it's it's mad it's proper mad but honestly I'm so so happy like and I know I'm not gonna stop crying but I swear to you I'm so happy and i'm literally gonna i'm gonna go there now because if i don't i'm not gonna sleep so, tonight properly so i'm gonna make my way there now and um yeah i'll take you on this journey with me because i feel like this is like a new chapter for me in the bay okay. and i feel like i'm just so happy guys honestly and 
yeah i'm just gonna stop here because i'm just gonna keep crying and it's i'm tired of crying right now but yeah love you i don't even know what to say have my new house i'm not currently in it we just need to do the fridge the washing machine but my bed is set up 